All right, let's talk about how to find the specific other equation of the line. First, we begin by drawing our triangle on this line that we have in front of us. Obviously, not with terribly specific data, but this is what we have. So that will represent our change in x, and then we'll draw our vertical here to represent our change in y. That information can be found over on the y and respective x-axis, but it's not typically easy to find specifically what values we're looking at. So we're going to measure the exact length of those particular lines. And you'll see I measure 8 centimeters on the x-axis and 4.4 on the y. You might wonder why did I do that. Well, if you remember earlier, we made a scale. Or you had to have made a scale. I didn't. But 1 centimeter equals 20 meters per second, let's say. And on the bottom, 1 centimeter equals 4 seconds. And that'll be time, which is seconds. And up here, we'll have velocity. And that'll be in meters per second. All right, so let's see what those mean now. Well, 8 centimeters per second. Well, you notice the 1 centimeter is equal to 4 seconds here. So if I multiply that out, I find that that x-axis represents 32 seconds. And the 4.4 had a conversion of 1 centimeter to 20 meters per second. So of course, if we just do a little math, we find that that's 88 meters per second. All right, so let's go to our calculations. We know that slope, in this particular case, since it's a line, is equal to k. Our general formula is y equals kx plus b because of the shape of the graph. And we know that that's going to be equal to change in y over change in x, which we just found. What change in y and change in x? Change in y was 88 meters per second. Change in x was 32 meters per second. I'm sorry, 32 seconds. And if I go down here in the calculator, punch that in, type in 88 meters per second, and then 32 seconds, yeah, 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 so on and so forth, I get 2.75. So my answer is 2.75, equal sign here, 2.75. And now let's look at our units. We have meters per second on top and seconds on bottom. If it's a complex fraction, I multiply by the reciprocal. And I find that my units should be meters over seconds squared. And so there's my slope. I'm halfway done defining my specific equation of the line. Okay, so let's say that we have this data that's sitting in front of us right here. Let's look at, see, we have 10 seconds here and 29 seconds over here. Okay, now, of course, I just made this data up. What you would actually do is you'd come down to any spot here on the x-axis and find one. I found 10, for, because I like 10s. And then I come up here and make a line with my ruler, and then I see the corresponding spot over here, and I'd find out what that is. That, of course, would give me a y value and an x value. Now, since we have an x and y value, as we see, saw just a moment ago, with my 10 seconds, 29, I should have enough information now to complete the equation. But let's begin where we started. We were at the general equation, which was y equal kx plus b. And I could rewrite that, since y's velocity is v equals k, and x is t. So I rewrote that, and of course my k is 2.75 meters per second squared, plus t times t plus b. Now if I just put in my t, 10 seconds, times my slope, and over here is my 29 meters per second, the only thing I have left is b. So I'll do a little bit of algebra here to get 27.5 meters per second, because the s squared cancels with the s, and 29 meters per second on the other side, and I find that my b is 1.5 meters per second. Final thing to do. Plug in those k and b values into the original general equation. And ta-da! There is your specific equation. Exclamation.